Lovely. We're here, of course, to talk about your movie, Alton. So mm -hmm. it obviously has done so well abroad. Was it always an ambition to go behind the camera and, and then make your own? I'm not sure that it was like a conscious ambition yeah. but I've always felt compelled to write and I've always been writing stories in my head and I was like such an angsty like I, think I'm, I don't know especially when I was a teenager I was just constantly writing and writing poetry and writing stories and but I just never this is the first time that I've actually taken the story from like concept to script mm. to completion so that's that's quite quite satisfying now, I would say. That's something that takes a lot of confidence. And I know there's a lot of young people who are probably watching going, I have an idea, but is it good enough? Sometimes you just have to go and make it. Yeah, and don't worry about being confident mm -hmm. because if you're waiting until you're confident, you might never do anything. You know, you have to do it anyways and force yourself through the steps. And I think also it would be, it's, I think it's good to try and listen to your own voice and have confidence in your own voice, especially for younger people coming up. And, and I guess, you know, I guess I'm biased because I am a female, but I feel like younger girls and stuff would be nice if they said, you know, I don't have to be clever. I don't have to be smart. I don't have to say something good. I just have to say something authentic. Yeah. And when you say something authentic, it's nice because then other people can relate to that and they can re that can resonate with them. And so you're not just speaking for yourself. You're speaking for other people of your demographic and of your background, you know? And even sometimes just that honesty in terms of something creative can, you know, relate to people in ways that you never knew that they would relate yeah, to it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think... I think just like get it onto the paper if you can and don't worry about being confident. <laughs> yeah. I mean I suppose technically speaking it wasn't the wilderness because like we were in the city but like figuratively speaking he deserted me in the wilderness. God help you loving.